is ebbing away by the second. You can almost feel the confidence of Tiffany Stratton growing with each passing moment. Stratton was humiliated last week by Bailey and Meechin. She lost the matchup. Her money in the bank briefcase got trashed by Bailey. And this is payback. Rushing Bailey in the corner. Here comes Stratton. Beautiful handspring back elbow. This is becoming hard to watch, Wade. I'm, I'm scared for the well being of Bailey, who's being covered again by Jax. Bailey's instinct is telling her to kick out. Meechin can hardly move. She needs scraping off the mat. And you get the sense Jax and Stratton, if they really wanted to, could end this in a heartbeat. They choose not to because they're enjoying the punishment too much. And what's stopping Bailey from just taking a defeat tonight? The title is not on the line. It's about living to fight another day. It's about making it to SummerSlam as close to 100% as possible. She sees herself as the locker room leader, the mother hand, the example to the industry. Well, that example is getting wiped out before our eyes. Nia Jax has been salivating for the opportunity to dethrone Bailey and become WWE Women's Champion. That could very well be the case in eight nights. And the quest this SummerSlam is just getting easier and easier for Queen Nia Jax. Oh! And there's been next to zero coming back the way of Tiffany Stratton and Nia Jax for the past three or four minutes. It's almost like throwing a mannequin around. It just feels like we're prolonging the inevitable. It's felt like that for some time at this point, Corey. Again, a rear chin lock applied by Tiffany Stratton, just wearing down Bailey. by Stratton and Bailey kicks out yet again but at this point I'm asking this question Wade why why is Bailey whether you're the locker room leader or not you're the WWE women's champion with a title defense in eight days why is Bailey still fighting this match Bailey's brain at this point is not fully operational she's not thinking about her match at SummerSlam she's just surviving on instinct cover by Jax and that instinct is almost snuffed out. I mean, the referees are even taking a close look at this. They have the right to throw this out if it's a lost cause for Bailey and her health is in serious jeopardy. And I would suggest we are verging on that at this point. Bailey right now needs to be thinking about self-preservation, her long-term career, her championship reign. Sure, you're. Your check won't be as big tonight because you don't get the winner's purse. But at the end of the day, you can wake up, you can recover, and be in the best shape possible for the biggest party of the summer and a championship defense. Bailey is getting caught through a clothes mangle before our eyes. Here we go, Stratton again. Wait a second. Wait just a second, Wade. How is Bailey doing it? It's a brief respite, and now Meechin begins to stir. How much use she's going to be if she does get tagged in is questionable. There's no question, Wade. Meechin's going to be useless. The woman can barely stand up right now. Tag made. Here comes Nia Jax, who crushes a daisy. Nia Jax is not ready to take the risk of a heavily beat down Meechin getting into this one. Meechin isn't the woman they want to punish. It's Bailey, the champ. Tag made. Stratton tagged herself in after Nia made contact with the ring post. Bailey able to free herself. Tag made. Here comes Meechin. Meechin, who's moving surprisingly well. Adrenaline can make the human body do amazing things. You can see she's still not feeling it. That back is in a mess. But is it good enough to score a miracle victory here? That might do it, Corey. Stratton spiked on top of her head. Cover here by Mi Chin. And that was a weak kick out from this money in the bank, Tiffany Stratton. But it keeps the match going. Yeah. Mi Chin to the outside takes down Queen Nia.
Where on earth is Meechin getting this from? We know she's tough. She's perhaps tougher than any of us thought. Grattin out of the way. Crash landing for Mi Chin and tag made to the irresistible force. The queen of the ring. Mi Chin out of the way. And Sagiri tag made. Bailey's legal. The queen of the ring is wrong. Bailey hit the running knee, trying to position Nia Jax. Bailey trying to get this finished as quickly as possible. This might be your big moment. Elbow connects. Covered by the champion. And Stratton at the last possible fraction of a second. I don't know if Stratton made it or if Queen Nia kicked out, but it was a millisecond either way. And Jax is in big trouble here. Nia now looking for a Samoan drop, but Bailey again coming to the aid of Mi Chin. Every Dan Angler trying to get the illegal competitor Mi Chin out of the ring. Oh. And the money in the bank briefcase right in the mud. The bandage up briefcase, and it may soon be a bandage, not Bailey. Annihilator. Oh wait, I'm not a fortune teller, but I can guarantee you this much. If Nia Jax lands the Annihilator on Bayley at SummerSlam, it will be the coronation of Queen Nia as the new WWE Women's Champion. Well, it was about as gutsy and stubborn an effort as you could possibly imagine from Bailey and Meechin. That was their biggest chance of victory, but with the rat distracted, the Money in the Bank briefcase came into play, and one annihilator later, Queen Nia was the victor. Will that be the case in eight days' time at SummerSlam with WWE Gold up for grabs?